The race for a vaccine has been the biological equivalent of the moonshot. One and a half million deaths, a global economy on its knees, a virus that came from the blue. But in labs around the world, scientists deconstructed its genetic code, designed more than 200 possible vaccines and got the first through clinical trials in less than a year. Robin Shattuck, one of Britain's leading vaccine hunters, says it's been a triumph. Uh, the last year has been uh, intense, incredibly exciting, um, invigorating. Um, but at this stage, it's been amazing that actually vaccines are coming through in a, in a way that we didn't anticipate and at a level of efficacy that was way higher than anybody predicted. So it's an amazing success story. The World Health Organization announced on the 9th of January that a new virus had emerged in China. Two days later, the Chinese authorities released the virus's genetic code. Within a month, the biotech company Moderna announced it had a prototype vaccine. In April, Oxford scientists began the first clinical trials of their candidate. And in July, Pfizer and BioNTech were the first to show their vaccine triggered a good immune response. By the end of November, all three vaccines had closed in on the finishing line, with Pfizer emerging as the first to win approval. The vaccines are proving far more effective than the most optimistic scientists had been expecting. Even just a few months ago, preventing 50% of all COVID cases would have been seen as a good result. It's much closer to 95%, even in elderly patients who have weakened immune systems. And that could have a lot to do with the genetic technology they use for the very first time. The payoff, if it worked, was phenomenal. But they could only have been developed with volunteers like Lydia stepping forward to test them. Here was an opportunity to participate in something really meaningful um, at such a dark time. My mum lives in North Wales and I haven't been able to hug her. I've seen her once since March in a socially distanced way when the rules permitted. Um, but I haven't been able to hug her since... Um, since, uh, th since lockdown, and oh, I'm crying because I miss my mum. The World Health Organization's special envoy says it's a new chapter in medicine. This will change the face of, of disease management, not just in humans, but in other species. It's, it's wonderful when you actually feel a big advance happening while you're on the job sort of thing, very special. Now comes the dash for doses to protect almost 8 billion people on the planet. Only then will science really have defeated the virus. Thomas Moore, Sky News.